Hello. So today I wanted to record outside because this is my 11th month reflection video of my time living in the Netherlands. And on top of that, this will be the last time I'm recording a reflection video in this apartment and backyard because we are moving. But we're super excited to move as well and just grow. <laughs> but I'm recording it when it's sunny because apparently, according to the weather app, next week it's going to be raining the whole next week. And I want to take advantage of recording here because I created so many great memories here when my friend visited. And just viewing this is just like reminiscing all the memories. And I'm sure. If you watched my long montage, you see that we had a lot of fun. And we didn't really record in this backyard, but we had a lot of fun in this backyard. So let's talk about the reflection videos in the past. You realize in a previous videos, I talk about homesickness a lot and wanting to return back to familiarity. But after hanging out with my friends and just exploring the city itself, I realized that I still have a lot to learn about the Netherlands and even my city and because I don't really go out often with Michael, like hanging out with my friends, I realize there's so many different food places and also people to see and yeah, like I shouldn't give up my hope of living in the Netherlands and just Europe in general yet. Now with that said, let's talk about things that I realized that has affected me from living here that I didn't know. And first of all, let's talk about drinking, right? Let's talk about beer and wine. The Dutch, the Dutch people, but also Europeans love drinking beer and wine over cocktails. And you could tell that because when my friends and I went and they asked for cocktails, they're not really that great according to them compared to Boston or New York. And I think that's really interesting, but also it indicates that I changed a little bit because before heading to the Netherlands, I'm always a cocktail person, but I guess now I'm more of a beer and wine person. And nothing's wrong about that, but I think maybe because beer and wine is really affordable here, I lean towards that more than spending 11 euros at least on a cocktail another thing i wanted to talk about is cuisines i didn't realize that some of the restaurant foods are not that great but i also realized i don't go out to eat that much because doing groceries and making food is exponentially cheaper than going out to eat all the time meanwhile in america um as we pull up like the politics you know they're trying to lower grocery prices and i think in america right now like go doing groceries and also even going out to eat is comparable so at that rate you rather just go out to eat because you can save time on cooking so that's something i did notice with my friends here um yeah, and then what we also notice is there might be better Asian food in Boston than especially in Amsterdam and Groningen. There's much more f different foods, like different Vietnamese food, for example, than pho and banh mi or some type of noodles. But in order to do that, you just have to do it yourself. And I think because of that, I'm grateful for the Netherlands because it made me such a better chef because I have to make my own spices with what is given and on top of that if I'm craving something I have to most likely make it myself and that even goes for cookies like in the states we have like cookie dough like they sell cookie doughs like Pillsbury but here if I'm craving cookies I have to start from scratch like get flour eggs and a lot of sugar so yeah um, with that said, I just kind of want to, like, take a step back and say that 
I think I've grown a lot as a person as I reach 11 months and almost to a year. And, and I'm not saying like I'm giving up on the Netherlands completely or Europe completely. I realize just being with my friends and also realizing the privilege that I have of being here and also the shit show that's happening in America right now. It's important. Like, I should be grateful for this experience and that I'm growing and yeah, like, and don't give up. And it's very easy to want to head back to familiarity and just giving myself a pat on the back um, on trying and officially like accepting that I want to stay here for a little bit longer in some form, in some way. I don't know how long that will be, but definitely to staying here a little bit longer is the plan. Yeah, with that being said, I don't know. I didn't realize how much I've grown and changed until my friends come visit, but also the fact that how the culture here has improved me into a better person. Now, whether it is like physically, like we since we had to walk everywhere or bike everywhere, or just like mentally, like how we view things or how we perceive things at certain situations is different. But yeah. And I think that's all I have to say. I'm going to do a little montage of this backyard because, yeah, like this is where I started doing YouTube videos and all that jazz. All right. Bye. The sky is so pretty. Backyard. Oh, and also, total tangent. But let me sit over here. There's a lot of spiders in the Netherlands, and I didn't realize how much I didn't care about the spiders until my friends came, and they were terrified. But that's crazy, because before they arrived, like literally an hour before they arrived, we vacuumed the whole thing, and there was no spiders. But then every single day after, spiders came out of nowhere. So for people who want to live in the Netherlands, get used to seeing spiders. This is where a lot of memories were made last week. Camille's bobby pins. But <sighs> honestly, I can't wait for the future because we're going to be in a different place. <laughs>